in school, they don't necessarily teach you how to do it, but they talk to you about it. So they talk to you about, well, you need to network, right? And you need to have time management skills and you have to have, um, you know, good um, energy and ambition to continue forward. But what it comes down to is uh, revolving yourself around with people that are um, moving forward. And that's what being a working artist kind of is all about. So if you do not surround yourself with those type of people and that intellectual creativity, that kind of atmosphere, then you kind of pitter out. And so you have to have time management and you have to have networking, you have to have all those things and those coalesce into making you a artist or a working artist. But if you don't have a social network of people that are doing similar things and at least are encouraging you to go forward, then you'll pitter out really fast. It's hard to do it independently. You have to have like an entourage of people. If you grow up with any type of artistic skill in a family that doesn't have any artistic skill, and hopefully they don't get mad that I say that, um, they push you and pressure you into doing art, which means every single birthday, every single Easter, every single Christmas, every gift you get is art related. As a little kid, I wanted to work for Disney and stuff like that. I mean, all little kids like superheroes and comics, and I got into that a little bit, but that's as far as it went. It was just cartooning and it was graphical based. There was nothing of any fine art thought in my head until much, much, much later. Um, I would say that as a young child, I figured that at least one day I would end up as an old art teacher. And so I had that in my head of just, well, when I get older and I retire from whatever job that I had, that I would at least be an art teacher. But I never really figured out how to make that leap. And I was lucky and I had some really good um, professors that would kind of encourage me to kind of go through. So my um, education was good as far as that. But um, the biggest thing I would say is just I've surrounded myself with people that are very ambitious or people that I can kind of encourage and that builds my rapport to continue on. And so that's kind of it. I kind of stumbled into it and then when I found out that I can inspire a couple of different people, I just keep those people around and they motivate me and I motivate them and vice versa.